Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we caught up with Cook and Mac on the train and met up with them and then we magically appeared in uh, Ura as Seth and Tolton and now we are in the back alley. So we're going to continue where we left off from here. First of all head to the left and peel a poster back for 500G. And then head east, <clears throat> ram a few boxes to create a new path, head north and uh, or head to the right and climb the first ladder that you see. To the left at the top of the ladder is something that you can kick for a groundest bomb. Then head back and descend the ladder. I love the um, atmosphere around here, like the, I don't know, just the uh, graphics and the city in general, I guess. I don't know. Something about this place, I just, I like it. And then go ahead and continue north until you get to another set of boxes that you can ram. Behind that is a pot that we can probe for a mana capsule. And then go ahead and head all the way back to the wide open area. Ha! <laughs> Not too smart, eh? By the way, I got um, Tolton up to level 32. So now you're going to head, take the left path and head north. And go ahead and continue north and ram some boxes. We'll get to a metal object that we can kick for a seed. And a pot that we can probe. For three poisonous red snakes. <clears throat> now head back and continue down the right path. And look for the first ladder that you come to on the left. And climb it. At the other end of the catwalk above is a pot that we can probe for a power drink. Now head back and descend down the ladder. And continue heading east. We'll come to a poster on the left hand side that we can peel back for a healing herb. Go ahead and head straight and look on the right for an object we can kick for a healing tank. then backtrack and head to the right. In the back of this area is another object that we can kick for a cure-all. <clears throat> then go ahead and climb the ladder. Then head south and we will exit the area from above. Now we are on Main Street at the top. Follow the path until we get to a pot that has 500G and head south. Ignore the first door and go ahead and enter the second.
and we are in Barkus's Arms and Armor, and we entered the back exit. So in the very back, there's a pot we can probe for a seed, and also a chest with an aqueous bomb. So now there's a ring maker if you need it, and you can also enter the front of the shop to speak to Barkus. But he's really not selling anything new. So go ahead and head back out the door we came through. And we're going to go ahead and enter the door we passed up earlier. Walk forward for a scene. And he'll teach you about the Urin Royal Seals, which we have seen a few of, but haven't been anything, haven't been able to do anything about it because we haven't had Tolton in our party. But now that's about to change. And we'll also get a talisman. So let's go ahead and put that on set. Absorb magic, which is pretty useful. Now since we already got the items here, go ahead and speak with the innkeeper. Now we can exit the back uh, to the back alley. So just head to the back to the north and enter the back door. We'll be on Main Street. <clears throat> head south, and there's two trash cans we can kick. The one on the right contains a seed, and the one on the left contains four jet black cloths. head north and there's one more trash can in this area that contains 500 G and then descend the ladder into the sewers all right so go ahead and head south once in the area and open a chest for a healing tank and then head down the stairs to the west and operate the red um, button to lower a bridge head across that and head to the east 
find another red button we can operate. This will lower the water in the area. And then go ahead and head back and down the stairs where we just lowered the water. Up the second flight of stairs and to the left is a, another red button we can open. And then just to the south of that is another red button we can open. This creates a mini shortcut to the area. So now we don't have to walk all the way around. Um, and before we climb the stairs, there is a broken part of the wall that we can head into. So go ahead and head right through there. Now you're going to want to be real careful in this area because the enemies are pretty powerful. So you're going to want to just get be in and out. We're just here for one chest. So go ahead and head directly south to find the chest we're looking for. And this contains three Kelo elements. Now go ahead and exit back to the sewers. Go ahead and head up to the top of the stairs and then head south and you'll get to a red button but just don't worry about it for now instead hop across the platforms to the north and we'll reach a chest here and this contains three thief's key rings Once you've hopped across the platforms again, touch the red button. This will cause the platforms to raise and lower again, creating a new path that we can hop across. I must stand and fight! Now go ahead and hop across the newly created uh, platforms. To reach another chest. And this one contains a Flaris bomb. <laughs> Jump back across the platforms. And take the ladder to the west. ahead and cross the first bridge and head directly south for a chest that's hard to see and this contains four nightmare seals now the, you'll notice three red buttons and it's pretty simple to figure this puzzle out but if you want to really get things complicated there are some items we can obtain here So this is what we're going to do. This is very tricky, so make sure you're paying attention. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is operate the bottom lever first.
and once you open that gate go ahead and close it right back now go ahead and head back up to and cross the northern bridge and descend the ladder that is just south on the other side this is the easy one once you get to the bottom, the water will all be drained, and to the left you'll see a faint glow on the ground. This contains a goddess medicine. Now go ahead and climb back up to the top. Now we're going to go ahead and operate the middle button. And this will lower the gate. Then operate the top button. And then go ahead and operate it again to lower it. Now that the water is inside of the area, and then go ahead and operate the middle button. Now go ahead and cross the northern bridge again and head all the way south or in the middle. And this is, or yeah it is, yeah it is, yeah it is. Go ahead and climb back down that ladder. And to the right we'll find something glowing that we can pick up. And this contains all curse, black magic. Go ahead and head north from here to reach a ladder that we can climb. All right, so here, go ahead and head north and then head west and you'll come to an object that we can kick for smelling salts continue along the straight path and we'll come to a poster on the right hand side that contains a thousand G then head back and take the right path you're going to have to ram some crates to uh, get them out of the way. And at the end of this path is a pot that we can probe for five mirror stone of fears. Now go ahead and backtrack and take the eastern path. Not too smart, eh? to a ladder
and to the south at the top of the ladder is an object that we can kick that contains a healing tank. At the end of this path is another uh, pot that we can probe for a seed. Go ahead and head back down and climb down the ladder. Now we're going to go ahead and head back to the cross and then head north this time. Directly to the right after heading north is a poster that we can peel. And this contains a soul medicine. You want a piece of me? second poster that we can peel for a stone beast thorn so now continue northeast Continue to the left, ignoring that ladder for now. We'll come to an object that we can kick for two wheat stones. Then go ahead and ram the boxes on the left and probe the pot for a windis bomb. Now backtrack and climb the ladder that we ignored earlier. Run to the left and we'll come to another ladder that we can climb. And directly at the top is something that we can kick for five life-stealing twos. Then continue north and we'll find a pot that we can probe for five gusty cloths. Directly past that and to the right is a ladder that we can descend. To the north, we'll come to our first royal seal. Just walk up to it and press A to break the seal. Knight's Sword and Royal Knight's Ring for breaking that seal, which is pretty epic. Let's go ahead and put that on to Tolton as soon as possible. 87 attack. Then do a little bit of backtracking to the ladder we just climbed down and choose to climb back up it.
then go ahead and continue on east until you reach another ladder. Hey, I wasn't ready. Send the ladder at the northeastern part of the map. Directly to the east of that is a object we can kick for an Ambrosia. Continue heading down the path for a poster on the left that contains a mana bottle. And finally head forward to reach the next area. All right, we are now at the station square. to the southeast part of the area for two chests and a save point. The first chest contains a heal full. And the second chest contains a slot seed. So we're going to go ahead and save our game. And that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. I'll see you guys next time and we'll get it get moving and hopefully we get out of this uh, city of Aurora.